People are talking about the spirit of the national team. Why do you think that is, and how does it affect your training and your game? It sounded very easy, but that's because we have real solidarity. From training to the competitions, we have been there for one another. We had each other's backs at all times. Whenever anyone came across a problem, we as a team would help that person together. We never leave anyone alone to face their obstacles. We have faith in the team, and we work toward achieving the same goal. It might sound easy, but it's actually quite difficult to accomplish. On the personal level, you won your first individual title in three years at the Denmark Open in 2022. You haven't had an easy career so far. After the Sudirman Cup, you would your world ranking is now up to eighth. For the road ahead, is there anything that you want to say to yourself? Aside from the world rankings, everyone has a shot on the court. The most important thing is how you perform on the court. So it's not just your techniques or your physical strength that determine the result. It also involves your mentality and your overall ability as a professional athlete. I think I could have done better on some details. In team tournaments, I did what people expected of me. But individually, it's still relatively difficult for me. And as the Olympic qualifiers are starting soon, and the Asian Games, I think it's important to gain more experience and learn from my opponents. The Paris Olympics is just one year away. What is your goal, and where do you think you need to improve the most? Our current men's singles players are all very competitive. Both the younger generation, like youngsters Li Shifeng, Wen Hengyang, and my generation, Zhao Junpeng, Lu Guangzhu, I think they are all very capable, and that helps make us quite competitive as a team. Our rankings are slowly drawing near the top of the world. This is a very encouraging achievement. For me, I definitely hope to do well in the qualifying competitions for the Olympics and secure my spot for Paris 2024. For now, I haven't thought too much about the Olympics, as I need to get that ticket first. But of course, if I do qualify, I would expect all of us to aim for the gold. Chen Long said that the national team has a legacy that passes down to generations of players. Why do you think that is? Nobody stays young forever, but there will always be a young player who steps up and gets it down. It's like in team competitions; somebody might not be in their usual form, but there's always somebody else who will step up and turn the situation around. I think that's our legacy in the badminton team.